¡Feliz! Mar. ¿Están vivo, verga? ¿Cuál es el valor? 39%. Ah, oh, ok. Debería estar bien para ver videos. ¿Estás grabando? Sí, estoy grabando. ¿Cómo está? ¿Ya vino? Estuvo. ¿Qué bueno? Listo. Ahí está. Bueno, ¿Qué quieras? Si vente, si carros quedados, va. ¿O oh, sí? Con este calor no se. No se atina. No se espera más. Sí, no. No, no, pues. Está, está difícil la cosa. Sí, sí. Ah, bueno, estoy esperando el bendice. Ah, ok. Ahí está, entonces. Sí, está bien. Alright, uh, today we're going to talk about this uh, cylinder head that we have here. And the problem that this uh, engine was having is the following. That was a very severe problem and um, it was making all these sounds and smog all over the place. And uh, of course, right, you can blame the, it has problems with the injectors, but of course that wasn't the case. Uh, that's the reason why we have the cylinder head removed because um, the problem was beyond fuel injectors. And for that, we're gonna go directly to the problem. So. Uh, here we have the cylinder head and the problem was right here on the bottom area which this is the one that sits with the cylinder block and you can clearly see the damage see this uh, cylinder building is like in really bad condition and there is this other one that is pushed in and this is pushed out the, the uh, valve seat is out in this case and this one is in and the problem was here the problem it was then uh, the compression was leaking um from the intake these are the intake bulbs and it was leaking from the exhaust these are the two exhaust bulbs so that's the reason why we have wet marks over here see all these uh looks all wet compared to the uh other cylinders uh, the other cylinders are dry and um the situation was then of course right the fuel was leaking uh, out every time the compression cycle was happening um, the compression was happening and it was leading to the intake the intake was wet with fuel as well and um, the compression also was leaking to the exhaust and that's the reason why the engine was uh, blowing smoke um, to the tailpipe and also it was not running well and it was making all this kind of like sound of misfiring um, and beyond that we also have small cracks on the cylinder head um this one right here has a crack right here i don't know if it's visible yeah that one right there it's a small crack then happened because of the uh, cylinder head defect then happens to this uh cummins isx or f16 engines and also we have another crack on this one right here see another crack that one right there uh, yeah that one so uh, the uh, beyond beyond the problem then they um it was uh, uh losing compression and making all that loud noises and smoke coming all over the place he also was consuming coolant and overheating because of the same issue um but other than that, the other cylinder bulbs were in a good condition. I mean, not in the best condition, but they were functional. The major problem of compression leak was happening in this cylinder number two. And the other ones, they were, they were, they were compression leak, of course, but it was through the cylinder head housing, basically, and it was leaking to the coolant system. And um, of course, this cylinder head is completely damaged. Uh, there is no way to reuse it. Um, there is one thing to notice then in, on the cylinder head we don't have, I mean cylinder head, uh, head gasket, we don't have no damage 
it is clean, there is no damage on the cylinder head gasket, uh, there is no cracks, there is no openings. Um, it looks like it was very uh, in a very good condition. And on the other side as well, no damages, nothing. So it looks like the problem simply happened because of the cylinder had cylinder head uh, uh, got the probably got the crack or because of the cylinder's head valve seat got pushed in or anything or, or probably could happen because um, the cylinder head was repaired before and it wasn't done properly because it looks like the cylinder head is not the uh, OEM head it looks like it was revealed somewhere in uh, some time but uh, it, it doesn't show any date or nothing it is just um, um, it is just rusty at all and usually when they're uh, from the factory they're all painting on red but that's the only thing I can tell about it we also have damage on the um, connecting rod bearings see this is the bearing and we have some um, damage on the bearing this bearing was going to go bad soon and um, it wasn't in the best condition probably this engine was having low oil pressure issues as well because of the damage then the bearing is having and um, causing um, other issues in if this is not repair but in this case uh, this was not the major reason why the engine was uh, um, brought to the shop I mean this this is just a extra reason why we need to do the major overhaul now then we are going to replace the head um, but other than that it should be alright after we do a new cylinder head and the uh, whole engine overhaul um, a probably a price range to repair this engine will be like between 16,000 to 20,000 depending if we get a used head or a new head and depending if we do a new OEM overhaul kit or a aftermarket overhaul kit that will vary in the in the price also um, depending where you get your parts also is going to change the um, expense the price the total price of repairing this engine um, but um, so far I have couple videos with Cummins ISX engines or X15's engines um, showing you uh, problems with the cylinder head that's the major problem with these engines and they continue on bearing in different uh, problems to one problem to another um, the major weakness of this engine is right on the cylinder head and uh, as uh, you can tell it's something that probably is going to happen to your engine but hopefully is um, this, this doesn't happen try where um, when um, you don't have the project to repair it or it doesn't happen very far from your city because then it's gonna be super expensive to bring it back to whatever city you are and then repair it and all that um, anyway uh, if for any reason you hear your engine then it's making the sounds um, then I show at the beginning of the video then are these ones you have to take care of this problem by disassembling the engine and replacing the cylinder head and that will fix the issue so don't let this uh, go away you have to repair this problem as soon as you can otherwise you're gonna be spending way more money than you, whatever you're supposed to spend and uh, well these are just recommendations but anyway if you have any more uh, recommendations or suggestions to add to this video use the comment section below in instagram you can find me as Francisco Manga YouTube uh, in the description of the video you can send support to my channel there you can see it and thank you for watching